With us we have Frank Parisa, Namibian 200 and 400 meter athlete, who came from the United States especially to participate at the Namibian National Champs. Now Frank, you came second in the 200 to uh, Kanuka and second in the 400 as well. Uh, what did you think of your performances? Um, I'm actually happy about them because um, I'm still training for me. It's not like I'm ready to compete yet. So uh, I'm just taking this as um, just a pre-season training. I mean, yeah, so tra a training session. So um, I'm happy where I'm at right now. Uh, I gotta be in shape by May. So um, I'm right on track. So I don't, I don't care about the performances now. I just care about training and knowing where I'm at. So. Right, now Frank, you've done very well in the States, studying as well, actually getting a degree there in construction engineering and training as well. Um, it must have been quite tough. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's, it's, I can say it's the hardest four and a half years of my life. Uh, the fact that I was out on full scholarship, I had to, tra I had to train. Um, right after training, I had classes. And you know, engineering classes are not easy. And then right after that, I had to you know, go do homework and then also work you know to pay my expenses so it it, it required a lot it uh, the fact that i didn't have any support family support i was all by myself um i, I can say it's the it's the hardest thing i've ever achieved so far well you must feel great to actually have got that degree and I understand you're working on a big project now yeah we um i work for a company called hansel phelps construction it's um top fourth in the whole u.s when it comes to construction and uh, we are working on the port of entry uh, into Mexico. So I'm an office engineer over there and um, uh, so far so good. It's good money, but uh, it's not about the money, it's about the experience. So that I can uh, later on bring the experience back to Namibia. So that's what about it. Right, and tell us about your athletics training in the United States. You also got top class training there. Yes, I train at the Olympic Training Center. Um, it's in Chula Vista, San Diego. And there's a lot of guys that I train with that are already uh, professionally sponsored. So they push me to, to my limits. And then I got great coaches, uh, trainers. Um, my coach right now is Ron Sheffield. He's training Sheena Tosta. She's a world record holder in the four hurdles. And then um, we got guys like Jerome Avery. We got, um, there's a lot of professional athletes over there. So it's, it's just great to see how, you know, the dedication of a professional athlete uh, when it comes to you know just professionally doing the sport you gotta eat it you gotta sleep it you gotta breathe it so yeah right and frank you're obviously also trying to qualify for the olympics um what is your the qualifying time you need to get and how far are you from that i'm not so far my coach says my training is on track uh, just two weeks ago he told me that um i'm ready to re i'm just i'm ready on track right now so uh, my, i gotta run 45 40 by July so I'm hoping to achieve that in May so I'm right on track I'm not focused on the 200 right now I'm just focused on the 400 so I'm right on track